Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to the Tennessee Conservative News Break. Today, I'll highlight several of our top stories for you, but for more information on these stories and for many more stories, head over to our website. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for your free e-newsletter. And please consider supporting us with any donation amount, and if you donate $50 or more, we'll send you a proud Tennessee Conservative stainless steel tumbler. And for any amount you give, we'll send you two proud Tennessee Conservative bumper stickers and a directory of your state officials that includes their contact information. Now let's get right into your stories. Allegations of child abuse have surfaced from a Chattanooga shelter housing unaccompanied migrant children. The Tennessee Department of Children's Services said state, local, and federal authorities are investigating after a report of abuse was made by a child staying at the shelter. DCS Commissioner Jennifer Nichols said the abuse was reported by a teenage boy during a routine but surprise inspection of the facility the week of May 31st. She said the boy, with an interpreter, quote, disclosed that he had witnessed an act in our policy that would require an investigation into that act. While DCS officials are unable to provide specific details regarding the allegations, they did say state like licensing regulations require shelters of this type to provide training for staff in prevention and reporting of sexual abuse. Chattanooga police also confirmed a 16 year old boy was reported missing from the shelter on June 14th. This information was not initially released to the public because they say the boy is considered a runaway and not considered to be endangered. In a related story, U.S. Senators Bill Haggerty and Marsha Blackburn, along with Representative Chuck Fleshman, sent a letter to the Health and Human Services Secretary requesting a briefing to discuss the, part, the department's management of unaccompanied alien children in federal custody and efforts to ensure their well-being. This allegation of abuse and the missing child raises urgent questions that demand immediate answers regarding the steps HHS is taking to ensure the safety and well-being of the UACs in the Chattanooga facility, Haggerty, Blackburn, and Fleshman wrote. Also in Chattanooga area news, Planned Parenthood, the nation's largest abortion provider, recently hired two new staff members for the Chattanooga area. According to Planned Parenthood, the expansion will not include clinical services and instead focus on the group's mission, quote, to provide comprehensive education and advocacy around sexual and reproductive rights. The Greater Chattanooga Right to Life organization states that Planned Parenthood's, their quote, greatest source of profit in their entire business model is built around maximizing their abortion business including introducing themselves into a community with sex education programs. They have opposed every parental consent law across the nation, laws that would make sure parents know if their daughter is undergoing an abortion. A girl cannot be given an aspirin by the school nurse without permission from a parent, yet Planned Parenthood pushes their agenda to undermine parents, promote, quote, no strings attached sex, and normalize abortion on their young daughters, end of quote. Greater Chattanooga currently has a petition against Planned Parenthood's expansion in Chattanooga and Calvary Chapel Chattanooga is hosting a petition to be presented directly to the Hamilton County School Board. Links to both petitions can be found in this article on our website. And I wanted to tell you about an event on July 10th. Are you concerned about conservative Tennessee patriotism? If so, be sure to reserve your seat for the Tennessee Freedom Summit. Head over to TennesseeFreedomSummit.com for more details. And for the last story today, data raised or data released by the Department of Labor Thursday showed that for the week ending June 12th, unemployment claims hit 412,000, a jump of 37,000 from the previous week. That increase comes after several weeks of steady declining claims. The unemployment and job numbers have shown the complexity of the economic data in recent months. Some indicators show growth, but there is also simultaneous rise in inflation and joblessness. The economy's job creation has fallen short of experts' hopes in the past months. That's it for your news today, but for more information on the topics I covered and for many more stories we're working on, 
visit our website. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to our free e-newsletter. And if you like what we're doing and want to get the conservative news, please consider supporting us with any donation amount. We can't bring this to you without your support. You can go to tennesseeconservativenews.com forward slash support. Thanks, guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next time.